Cash is a bird. She's so thick. Oh my god. Why well, you got a retainer? It is her. You gonna bring that old thing back? It's liquor. Mia, what you do? I know why. Don't do that. Is that work? Uh, excuse me. Oh, she's blind. Don't do that. That's such a hitchhiker's thumb. You better fake it till you make it. You think that's stupid? Mia, what you wanna do, baby? Can we have an intro session? Impression. Wonder if I can find an old picture. <gasps> I got us a section. I like this name. They wanna perform with you. Hello. You don't gotta hold the mic like this. Hater. No, I think everybody gonna get locked up. That's embarrassing. Oh my God, I forgot to tell y'all. What up, loves, and welcome back to another episode of From Rizzo with Love. With me, your girl Donna Rizzo, as we are here to recap Rap Shit Season 2, Episode 4. Episode 4, which means we are halfway in the season. Is that right? I feel like this shit just ran up on us real quick. You know why? That is because it's really only been three weeks. I'm bugging. It's been three weeks, but that first week they dropped two episodes, which we're eternally grateful for. But it's only been three weeks and this is only a short season. It's eight. Y'all, I think this is actually how Insecure started. I think Insecure started with the eight episodes and then once it got additional seasons, they were able to add the extra. So the hope and prayer is that once they get another season, because we still haven't heard yet, but once they get another season, next season will have 10 full episodes. So fingers crossed for that. Do y'all part. I feel like it's been so long. <laughs> it's really because I didn't watch the episode until this weekend. I couldn't watch it on Thursday because I was down and out. I did tell you guys that I had egg freezing. It was actually okay. I'm documenting it if you're thinking about it, if you know someone who went through it, if you have gone through it, you want someone to like talk to about it, you want someone to feel what you feel, the nerves, like. All of that, I'm talking about it from top to fucking bottom, from 2021 all the way to 2023 when I actually had the retrieval. Head over to my TikTok at From Rizzle with. I'ma fuck these shits up. Head over to my TikTok so that you guys can check it out at From Rizzo with Love. Also, check me out on all things social media at From Rizzo with Love X, Twitter, Threads. Instagram, all of the above. Make sure you stay abreast of what we're doing, what new shows we will be premiering and recapping. Right now, we are focused on Sisters and Rap Shit, but after Rap Shit and Sisters kind of ends, because I think Sisters only has a couple more episodes. I think it's one more week outside of Rap Shit, and then I got like a two week break. And then I'm gonna pick up The Real Housewives of Potomac. So if you're a fan of any of those shows, Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe so you know when we drop another episode. Also, if this is your first time here, please make sure you stay until the end because I ask a question that I want you guys to engage with in the comments. The community is slowly but surely starting to build. I see people answering questions. I see people interacting, and I appreciate y'all for being there. And people who don't even watch the show who are commenting because you want to see me, I'll f with you heavy. And trust me, I will not forget that. But before we get into this week's episode, I do have a couple of comments and I wanna address the question from last week. So first, you know I made that little side comment that Cash was somebody's husband? That is false. But that titty suck was still had me fucked up. I'm still not over when Issa got her titty fucked. Look at me. That's how bad it was to me. <laughs> when Issa got her titty sucked on that Ferris wheel. I would never be able to look at my cast member again. My co-star, whatever the fuck he is. No Black Lives Matter protests. We're not going to brunch, dinner. I can't look at you. I cannot stand it. That's too fucking intimate. Everything else, we playing. We kissing on the mouth. Your grandma be kissing your baby on the mouth. That's whatever. This shit? No. You kissing my body parts? What's that? My fucking vagina is next. That nigga would be dead to me. I'm not over that. But speaking of dead, listen. Are we killing Maurice? Are we killing Maurice or are we killing Stanley? Cause we're not gonna kill Shauna. Somebody gotta go. Stanley is snitching on any and everyone who's in his way because he doesn't wanna go to jail at all. So he will throw Maurice under. He'll definitely throw Shauna under. So he gotta go. Now, honestly, if this show is based on the city girls, we gotta expect that Shauna is eventually gonna go to jail, right? She gotta go to jail, she gotta come out, she gotta write no bars, no no hooks, no food, whatever the fucking song is called. Then she gotta like wait a little bit and then write her best freestyle ever. You know, so we gotta go through those moments. But I'm starting to wonder how loosely based this really is because I know JT was not walking in no farms, buying no fucking orange trees. We know she was boosting, she was scamming, but like, was she fucking in no 
time. Like, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot that I'm like, how loose is this? So we're going to find out. But somebody got to go. And I'm sorry. It might be the, you know what? It might be so loose that it's like her going to jail. Plus, I think Carisha's first baby dad died, right? I hate to bring that up. If that's not true, my bad. But maybe they'll put both of those together and they'll kill off Maurice. And then Shauna won't go to jail. No, she's going to go to jail anyway. Damn. There's no win here. There's no, the only win is if Stanley dies. And sorry to say that that's a win. Next up, Duke needs a love interest. We need somebody who's gonna stand for Duke and who's gonna like send the fucking steak back when it's not cooked properly. Who's gonna like stand for her when she can't say shit because she cares too much about these girls or she's worried too much about the girl's image. We need a bitch who's gonna be there for her. Like some joint who's just like raises hell, but keeps it professional. Helps her keep her job, you know, like braids her hair, tells these bitches to respect her, but also lets her know her place in this whole thing. Like, you didn't do this for nothing and you deserve to be in this spot. Duke needs that person. I love to see Duke with Shauna last week. It actually showed me a caring side of Duke, like that she can care for another person. And I didn't think she had that in her. So we gotta, we gotta get her somebody, okay? And then lastly, we have to address the question and how the episode ended. If you don't recall, last week's question was, how do you get out of the got him? Mia meant to send got him to her group chat and her friends, but instead she sent it to Cash Chaser. What are you saying? How are you responding to get out of that? Because it looks bad. And even if she makes up some kind of lie, it can be seen by him as like, this trying to lie to me now. What are you saying to have it not get to that point? got him got what how are you responding it has to be quick in the moment and it gotta make sense now there's a couple ways to get out of this i think there's really only one way i would do it first of all you have to respond very quickly because if you take too long he's gonna know you were thinking about something but if you were really sending that message to him you would want to respond so you would have your phone right in front of you so you gotta send a message quick so mia get on your zoom quick Jay Tucker said she better just say, oh, I was just trying to send that to my friend saying like, oh, he's mine, which okay. But he's gonna be like, why were you sending a picture of me to your friends? You know what I'm saying? It's giving, you know, the, the, the bird or the side chick or the groupie will always catch the man sleeping and she'll do that. And it'll come out on the shade room later and it'll be this whole big thing. You don't do that. The real way to get out of this. And I wanna see what they wrote because real no. Got him is code in the sneakers app to say that you secured something. So you need to somehow say you took a picture of him, but you were able to secure some sneakers or something for him. Because otherwise, what does got him mean? You know what I'm saying? You think that's stupid? It's not. It's not. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> You gotta get out of that. Y'all remember doing this. Oh Lord Jesus. This is what happens. I'm over here texting with, you know, somebody. And he sends me a joke. Oh no, or did I get, that's what happened. I'm texting with him. In the middle of me just texting with him casually, um, the old doo-wop sends me a picture of like, you remember like the, let me not actually, I'm gonna blur that out. Sends me a funny picture and I want to share it with the guy who I'm talking, you know, texting to right now. And so I share it. And another guy responds back and so I'm replying and I'm replying to him and I'm replying to him. And all of a sudden, you know how when you're talking to somebody, you'd be like, let's say John. You'd be like, John! Exclamation, exclamation. Girl, why did I say the other name in the other chat? And he was like, question mark, question mark. And I was like, I know, that's so crazy. I kept having the conversation. And he was like, no, who the f is John? And I'm like, oh, that's crazy. I'm talking to my friend right now. He, I sent him the shit too, because he always be talking about blah, blah, blah. Like that's crazy, my bad, my bad. You know, real casual. <laughs> Cause if, if I act any kind of way, if, if he could see, he could feel my heartbeat change over the text message. I know it. That's how close we are. So if I just, you know, oh not yeah. Oh yeah, that's my bad. I was texting somebody else. That's my friend. <laughs> you ain't gotta worry about him, boo. That's the only time some shit like that has ever happened to me. The other time, and this is not quite the same, but it's a moment when 
shouldn't be seeing your tech. I'm sitting at home on my, using my friend's computer, it's a Mac. Using my friend's computer at the time. And she's on her phone right next to me texting. Now, your text messages would go straight to your MacBook as well because iCloud will put everything together. So as Shorty is texting, I'm seeing messages coming. And I'm like, you know what? That don't, that's not going to concern me. Let me finish doing what I'm need, I'm doing. Actually, I think I was editing a podcast at the moment. And I'm like, oh, let me just finish doing what I'm doing. I know she doesn't want me to see her text messages. So I'm not even going to reference it. Like, it'll go away. The conversation will be done. And I'll just, oh, you know, I wasn't even really paying attention to it. And then all of a sudden, I see my name. And I said, well, I'm paying attention now. And you know me. I wait in the water. I said, let me see what the rest of the conversation is going to be. Because I don't want to just get you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I want to get you. And I want you to feel stupid about it. So I let that shit rock. Oh, yeah? You, you saying little white lies? about? You saying I did this when really that was you? Mmm. Mm. <laughs> I got my CMOS right now. Clear this shit up. Hey, right, y'all. Without further ado, <laughs> I know I talked a lot. If this is your first time here, welcome to the tangents. Welcome to the motherfucking tangents. We will be going on a couple of these, but I promise to goodness, I'm going to focus on the show. If this is your first time here and you are not familiar with From Rizzo with Love, this is unlike other recap series that you see on YouTube or across social media. This is not a post reaction recap this is a live reaction recap which means i will be watching the episode live with you now i'm not going to be posting the whole episode if you're here you have likely seen the show so there's no reason for me to post 30 minutes of content here and have you see me looking like okay that's cool no we're gonna post moments that are important to us i'm gonna post some that you need to pay attention to that maybe you haven't seen yet. And I want you to feel like you're sitting here right next to me on this couch, having a viewing party for this episode. So stick with me, finish this episode out, and let's finish the second half of the season together, y'all. Don't forget to stick until the end so you can answer the question in the comments. All right, y'all, without further ado, let's get into this Max's Rap Shit Season 2, Episode 4. Let's go. This shit thick as fuck. This ain't even like blended. This might just be the sea moss. You know what? I didn't recognize this before, but she was like, oh, my parents cut me off. Your parents was giving you money? Like weekly or something? Cause you got a job. You live in a home. Your parents was still giving you. Am I bugging it? Is that normal? I don't even think I, we got allowance. What the f is allowance? What you need extra money for? You living in my house. I clothe you and I feed you. Mm -mm. <laughs> this liquor. No, this shit is nasty. Oh my God. This shit is thick. I think I'm going to just do this the whole fing episode. See, look, it's the goddamn too. She, she got to turn this shit around. Mia, what you want to do, baby? And quick. What the fuck is this? Left behind dick lotion? Not left behind dick lotion. Also, love that they are actually not sharing a bed. There's a queen or a bed, a bed and a cot with the stellar old floral print and most it's because they can't afford they still using the same ones from the 70s okay oh my god oh my god trying to get your feet off the bed though what's this is this ghost rider what am i looking at they made the intros a lot shorter can we have an intro session rap shit uh people you know how like you win awards for intros can somebody, whoever designs these intros, can you tell us like your inspiration? Cause I know there's a tie here. Nothing <laughs> is for granted. Every single detail in this show means things. Wait, 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 I need to go back. Cause I see she sent him like sexy pictures, but what did you respond to? Did he reply back? Like, you couldn't the I'm sorry and send him just pictures of your No, that's a dead giveaway. That's how you don't do it. Okay, wait, I was only sending it to my homegirl. I would never expose you. You ain't even try to lie. Yikes. Oh, she's black. The shits are green. Yo, y'all know that they're taking away the green shit, So we won't know one who has an Android and we won't know two who's blocked. How are we gonna figure that out? Apple, have y'all considered that? That is a very telltale sign. Now you know me. <laughs> I don't leave on block. I turn my re receipts on. So you know, I see them and I'm choosing to ignore you. But for the dummies who might block me, which have I been blocked? I don't think 
So yeah, I don't live that life. No, I don't care. So, and if I'm blocked, I probably just never text the person, so I would never know. Yo, they got those the panels that's in my grandmama's basement. Why? Why did everybody live for those wood panels that were never uniform? They were all like, here's one, here's one, oh, and then here's one, and then here's one. Let me see if I can find. Damn, I wonder if I can find an old picture of us. I think there's a picture. If I'm a, I'm gonna post it here so you can see old rhythm. <laughs> okay. I know you don't fuck with me. Girl. Oh, we going right into this? Not right now. I would say we got out of the mud together, you know? Definitely. Y'all can't stay there. The floor is moist. The carpet is moist. There's asbestos in the wall. There's mold in the wall. Y'all are singers and rappers. You cannot stay there. I'd rather go sit back on that bus. Do we need AC? Does this place have it? I don't see an H. Oh, that AC up on the top. Mm. Y'all know if you turn that shit on, it's gonna blow out a bug. Okay. I think I fumbled that shit. Actually, you saying me? 100% fumbled. So, in relationships, there there could be like avoiding people. How's that helping so the situation right now? Just get dressed here, but don't unpack shit because we ain't sleeping. Facts. Y'all gonna bring some bed bugs with you. Also, Am I ready to out the Atlanta four-star hotel that I got bed bugs from a couple of months ago? Am I gonna do that? Because still waiting for my reimbursement, but I digress. Thankfully, I bring them just home and I got some bites. They stayed there. I think it was one mother Hello, Who's J&B? J&B? Oh, this is Jill. This is the Spotify joint. I was saying we haven't seen her or heard from her at all. Okay, she mentioned the Tongue remix. Raina Ray leads the sexual revolution with Tongue. Complex interview. You know what's crazy? <laughs> my dumb ass, because I'm recording this after the episode has been out and they've been doing some promo. My dumb ass sees that Raina Ray did a complex interview and I said, oh, I don't want the cast to reveal anything to me. That in character that was for the show that was not a complex interview they're not doing additional promo right now <laughs> what's wrong with me i really think this bitch, oh my god i forgot to tell y'all i found the joint who plays Raina rain who's cat cunning i found her page look at this regular bitch. i mean she's an she's an artist too look, look at this and, and hear her please don't flag me or copyright infringement none of that shit. i'm gonna keep talking just so y'all can hear a little bit Look at that. She plays the fuck out of this character. If that's her. Is that, uh, is that Pierce? You know, some artists that I found. Oh, some artists that she found now. Damn, so now she's crediting herself as finding local artists. Two black girls in the game that she's actually using for her black card and clout. And she discovered them. So now she's not only an artist. But she be discovering. Let me give my shots. Is she throwing shade at y'all? Yes. <laughs> she tried to eat that wing. She's like fried chicken. Y'all gotta think of it like mac and cheese. Why? Happy Thanksgiving, y'all. Yeah. Y'all had a good Thanksgiving? Okay. Uh, food, crispy. What the f does this have to do? Pudding. Confession. Ain't nothing like my aunt's mac and cheese. And we do the baked, the square joints, not the soup that for some reason has gone extremely viral and now people think that that's the new way how to cook mac and cheese. Okay, I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. I'm. I'm not even going. I'm not gonna do it. It's not. You don't stew. Okay. I'm not. I'm not gonna do it. You don't slow cook your noodles so that they're mush. Okay. I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. But I just came here to say that I actually um, have with craft mac and cheese in my life. Actually, that was like a college meal. <laughs> we would do the little joints, the cereal, the one serving of cereals with a little, the milk joint that you can get like one and a half servings from <laughs> and the craft mac and cheese. I was never a ramen girl in college. I was a craft mac and cheese, which is, I mean, either I get high sodium or clogged arteries. It was up to me. I need a hot. You know what else I love? I love that Issa is still putting on for Saweetie. She got dealt a bad in hand and by that i mean the album was not great she did not have a good team behind her telling her one you need to do some promo and two you need to make songs for the that's who loved you that's who liked you on your last shit please continue to make more yes i know you want to compete on the lyrical level but and i hate to say this because i don't want you to go to flow rider route where you're now just like put it on stop right 
but don't forget your bread and butter. Add a little of that in there, but don't forget your bread and butter. And I think that's what you forgot. But I love that people are still putting on for her as is Issa here. Yeah. What's this outfit, man? She's so thick. She just got to think about it. Smart. Shauna, I, I, I'm with you. This looks like a pimp named Slick Bad. What the f is she? What is she in right now? to perform to rap if I have a specimen of the lung. I could have on the fucking butt. Facts. Facts, Shauna. I know you haven't done this before, so I'm just Don't like do that. break down how it Don't goes. Don't do that. Usually, Don't do that. I know you haven't done this before. Don't do that. Oh, this God. is why Shorty needs a, a beside her. Okay. Yeah. So you're broke and this is my problem? I hate that. Have some money. Yeah. She going somewhere commercial. Y'all know what that is, right? That's Chet. You know why no That's Chet. That Change. They want them to kick. She said blood clot. I like this. Damn. You know what? Sometimes I'll be like, bitch, you supposed to be. Nah, you supposed to be in New York. But sometimes this LA music, it's the bay shit that gets me. Mm -hmm. I got us a section. Can you guys get down, please? Yeah, that's embarrassing. Because y'all are looking like fools for being with her dumb ass. Oh, this is her literally being invited to the cookout. Y'all better not be the ones who invited her. This is what happens too. This is what happens when y'all open this gates and let anybody in through the back so they could come to our cookout. Look at this shit. And now she's using this to show, oh, look at me. I can be in these spaces. I'm literally at the cookout. Look. And y'all are the mother. To blame because y'all are the two black people who are with her. No one ever gives a f about Francois. Y'all look like pervs. <laughs> These people want a nigga. She's like, he can't even spend. I told you when I found my friend's man on a dating app, and you know, <laughs> screenshot, screenshot. Let me tell you. And I was like, look. And she was like, that didn't even graduate because he put his school down. <laughs> it be the little things. Uh, you over here with the scarcity mindset. You need to have an abundance mindset. Excuse? Come on. Plus, we look bad. Take a picture. I love that. Shona, also, you look beautiful. I love that. Post a picture. Make him sick. You're not thinking about him. Even though you quadruple texted. See, oh, they're in Oakland. This makes sense why this baby's and shit. Guap Dad, you got a retainer here? This your second, third time? Do Guap Daddy. Do You better fake it till you make it. I'm actually on tour with one of my ex right now. Duke, you wanna fake it till you motherfucker fake it. See, and these are moments where I'm like, okay, I'm okay with Duke being on the team. Again, I struggle with her being their manager, but this making moves. And always, it's always, if you got money, you want access. If you got access, you want money. Duke ain't got no money, but she got the access or she can help you get to the access based on how she used to get money. So she's actually a good person to be with and be around. And remember, these here is like, oh, y'all going on tour? I want to get with that too. So they're making this connection that she couldn't have made or someone else. Francois definitely couldn't have made this because nobody wants to hang around his corny ass with rain and rain. Nobody who's actually a black person really wants to be around her. So Duke is doing her shit, y'all. I can't, you know what I'm saying? You can't be mad at this. Y'all turn that shit around for me. Oh, I like this. You know what's crazy about him is that I, it wasn't a little Russell. I thought he was just like a a regular person. I hate to say it like that because we all regular people, right? But he just, I didn't realize he was actually an artist because he looks so regular. <laughs> but I guess that's his shit. Oh, why do you have such a hitchhiker's thumb? I can't even do it. Like, <laughs> no, it's too bad. Mm-hmm. He back. He back. The text message says, they loving us out here. You also double text. Mm, okay. What you think you doing? Minding my business. And now she posts and he puts the fire emoji. Yup. Now you want that old thing back? But, but to be very clear, Cash is a bird. We know that, right? We could tell by the way he was moving before. I would never do that to you, boo. Being overly like in public, the dudes is coming around and he's introducing the girl to all these being on it. I've been a been introduced. I always tell my though, so. don't you introduce me to no getting serious with and then you introduce me to a next 
because I can't be friends with this hoe and I know you want me here to be friends with this hoe and I can't do it. Figure it out because I'm not going to have you cheating on a I actually start to like and love. We don't hang around scumbags. Wait, was that Lamont? Yeah. She gonna bring that old thing back? Wait, so she swapped Gerard out? I was like, who the f is O'Shea? But O'Shea as in Jackson? Okay. Hmm. Do I need to start paying attention? Because they're going to LA and he says O'Shea. Are they naming new characters? With the names of the people from the city that they're actually touring to? Hmm. Now I gotta pay attention. I'm on to y'all. Uh, excuse me? Did you say Baydestrians? Is is that a thing? I want them to boo her so badly. Facts. He gonna dead this whole tour? After she done invited him out to LA. Watch this dead this whole tour. Also, how can you have a day off if you're not? Oh, it's like interns be having the day off too. Okay. Okay, good. Good. Get this club money don't you do that don't do that oh okay you could take like a couple hundred from that pile though don't take the chain though sis you gotta do just enough where it's not noticeable and the people be like did i really i know there's been a lot of shit um online um and i just want to say um it's the cost for me is she gonna take shauna's freestyle give me something real mellow you know what this is you find a beat that and people are gonna bop to the beat as long as you hit the same flow that they're used to. That's the problem. You remember that Chris Rock special where he was like, smack her with a dick, smack her with a dick, poke it in the eye, poke it with a... Like, my shoulder's moving? <laughs> it's a testament to that. Like some catchy shit? Speaking of catchy. Can we have this moment if you don't tell anybody? I'll f the sexy red. I'll Fucks with sexy red. All right, don't say that too loud. Don't tell anybody. Else. This bitch has a literal invite to the cookout. A literal <sighs> invite to the cookout. Do I be knowing or do I be knowing? Oh, he they want to perform with you. This how you work a crowd. Oh, this is actually a free. Hey, this a battle? Shauna, put that mic down. You don't gotta hold the mic like this. Okay, stop that. That's almost as bad as holding the mic like this. I should listen to the scene over again, but I hate when they do that. Like. Why are, you, why are you moving your finger to the left and the right? What are you doing? Say, oh, this is going to go viral for them. Oh, that's how you Ooh. Okay, you wildin'. Because how the f*** are you going in on the person you on tour with? Also, is that the f DJ? That's the f DJ from the come out? Did Lord AK hear them? Oh, I forgot about these. Just seeing this makes me upset, yo. Come on, get a pic with y'all. I did not expect Lord AK to look like this. Okay. This is the moment where Francois is trying to take all the credit for bringing him on the tour. And this is the moment where y'all show Chastity how much y'all are with her. Fuck, but she's not here in the moment to get it. Damn. This would have been a perfect moment to be like, yo, this is our manager here. Connect with her or we can talk, have your people talk, to, whatever the fuck it is. But just a moment to show that they actually chastity and they see chastity in a light where she can handle their business and she is actually a manager fuck miss opportunity these are my artists my starlet these are your artists y'all should come to the studio yeah thank you <laughs> thank you y'all gotta y'all gotta tell chastity though chastity over there trying to do some shit damn i hope chastity don't get locked up you know, I think everybody gonna get locked up at some point. I'm like, when are we going to do the person in jail part of this series? <laughs> Cause it has to come. Is that work? Is that, who is that? We can get that order made from here. No, no, no. What about your brand though? But she not going back in the car. So she's not stealing shit. Okay. All right, dude. Want me to be her baby daddy? You know what I will say is that music from the Bay is kind of one of the only, outside of the older generation, like, one of the only forms of rap or regions of rap that is still remaining lyrical. Like New York is known, you know, like Northeast is really known for being lyrical, but like that drill shit is taking over. So we're getting a lot of like the Humpty Dumpty raps. And then Atlanta has come and not saying that they're all mumble rap, but you know what I'm saying? That era of shit is not as lyrical. And of course we got the J's and the Drake's and the Cole's and of those are always gonna be lyrical but because they're from another generation but the bay 
is always are writing some real shit. Now, I say real shit, I'm not talking about the content. Because the content is like, beat her up, eat her pussy in the back. Like, you know what I'm saying? Shit like that. But they're still writing, which I also will say, the women are writing too. And that's across regions, so. I just want to acknowledge that. That just hit me when I'm like, what is this saying? And I haven't done that for rap in a long time. Yeah. Is corny. Shona gonna fall in love with Lord AK? Mm. Does that corny dude remember her? Me. Mia, what you doing? Mia, what the f are you doing? You just invited Lamont out. What are you doing? And this is a n What are you doing? I was with Dochi, really good TD artist. I'm not Dochi. We Take love a Dochi. Shout really out Milan. Good. Progression is so simple, but it's so good. Mm. You know, in the chords and shit. She's talking music. Sorry. Oh, his brother's the one who overdosed. There's another who's just... talking a smile. Not no, it's that energy. But you know, maybe it's not supposed to be the same. Mm, that's a it word. Would be a disservice to you and your artistry if you didn't, you didn't grow. You in your life. Oh, come on. <laughs> Gucci, Gu Gu Gucci man? Why? Gucci man got a star in the wolf? I don't believe that's correct. I blame Yeah. Let's go. I like this new flag. This is BDE, a top tier. Quiet in the back, handling business, not mixy, not all up in the shit. Knows what he wants. Tells a b come over. Mm. Y'all can't f it because I can't take that. You need anything? Hater. Did y'all leave? Where's the studio? Oh, I don't have no service. Sorry. Shit. Is that you, Charlie? I always really? you finally made it. Can't you see I'm in the middle of something? Facts. Back the up, cornball. Yup. Who's getting sun <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. now? Yeah, I'm sick. <laughs> oh, she is going to try to get that money. She going to break in. You know, Oakland is known for breaking. You got to do that shit fast, sis. Oh, she taking the whole shit. They see her? Yeah, right. Because who else would know it? You can't make it look like... An attack that was intentional, looking for that shit. Smart, but also get the f out of there. Can I get you anything? That dick! Mia, you know what make me so happy? Is if you did the exact same dance routine in the exact same shit. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't sure what the f that was. That was her stomach. <laughs> yeah, let me get you some food. <laughs> That's embarrassing. Like a year ago. A year ago? Also, oh, I can't get with the wearing pearls but okay do your thing that's a, a stone's throw away from the uh the hanging dangly that your uncle used to wear okay uh, see i love that if you would have told me six months ago that i would be sitting right here where i am i wouldn't have believed it so just imagine what the next six months could do come on <laughs> just a word to the wise when you get it make sure you don't lose it don't like sausage we'll get it <laughs> don't do that we just ended up talking they talk about it. This is actually good, ladies, because now it builds up suspense and like desire. Not that you should be playing games, like if you want to, but this is good. Fun fact: because she's wearing a Miami Heat jersey. Do you guys know? You would never know. I worked with one of the women who helped to name the team. It's not crazy. She was my SVP. Crazy. R.I.P. Lois. That shit went too fast. Y'all no. <laughs> know I'ma read the text message. Don't. All right, this is her girlfriend group chat. Okay, niggas be petty for the tour uh, for the third chat. Okay, blah, blah, blah. And then remember, pussy, relax. The pool look refreshing as fuck, though. I'm about to take a bath. Watch this story by Cash Chase on Instagram before it disappears. Oh, they sent a story. Is this you? This gonna be the bitch. Unless he took a vi Okay, two things that this could be. One also took a video of her oh my god what if this took a video of them fucking? oh my goodness the other thing it could be the joint who looks like her <laughs> i'm in love with a stripper it is her <gasps> oh shit and he got i'm in love with a stripper over it written by dave helen not helen but helen listen I miss T-Pain. T-Pain tried to come out with a, another song called Tips. He premiered it at the Dreamville Fest. It was for the wrong crowd. That's a Gen Z. <laughs> I 
alpha. I don't even know if they were there, but that's the wrong crowd. That was for us. <laughs> I was in the back like, gonna give me up tips, tips. <laughs> like that's my shit. But that's cause that's my era. T-Bay, you can't come out with that. You gotta come out with something new, move with the times. But damn, you had a good run. T-Pay made some really good investments. You know that auto tube, Mike? He invested in that and is still getting paid money. He's still a producer. Like, he's doing okay. But I guess you never really like scratch that itch or finish scratching the itch of like my creative side coming out. I always wanted to be a rapper singer. And so when you're working with people, you still have that urge. That's always one about Tiana Taylor. Cause she's helping all these other female artists but it's something that like she wanted to do and excel in, you know all right y'all this was another good episode the stomach rumbling hilarious but the question is i would ask about mia what is she going to do in this situation but story's up for 24 hours he only has a couple more photos of you he's not going to repeat so at this point, you gotta wait it out. It is what it is. But how are you getting out of the, I invited Lamont out here and Lamont is gonna see you all up on this producer dude. And how is Shauna gonna get, cause I don't know if that's the end. Was that enough for Shauna and Lord AK and, and Gat to have that moment and it never be an issue again? Is that like finally closed? If not, how are you closing that as Shauna? Cause I don't like a to have you running away all the time. We're not gonna be living in fear on this tour. Not while I'm having so close access to my dreams becoming reality. No, sir. What are y'all doing? All right, y'all, we are halfway done. Four more weeks for this season. Let's make sure we're watching. Let's make sure we're tweeting, we're posting, we're telling our friends that this season is way better than last season. And we get this show to get a next season because that shit should be coming soon, right? Like, I don't know when it came last season. I feel like it came like episode two, <laughs> but it's about that time. So let's get that out here. Okay. All right, y'all. Thank you so much for joining me for this rap shit season two, episode four. I will see you guys next week. Please make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you are a Sisters fan or a Real Housewives of Potomac fan, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you know when those recaps actually drop so that you can get them as soon as possible and you can start engaging and talking with folks in these comments. And please always remember that everything that I have said has been from Rizzo with love. Actually, I need to stop being such... Look at me. You saw what I just did? I failed me. I failed me. I don't think that's it. That was new. I think it's this. It's a hook. I think this is it. Uh, hook. No, it's the pointer. Am I showing my age a lot? I guess it's this. Whatever. Okay.